Four months. I'm four months older. You think that doesn't mean anything to a girl? What do you want from me? I want some action. That's what I want. Oh, you're the guy with the big plans. The big money man. 75 bucks a week. All right, you want to know about the deal, I'll tell you. Go ahead, I'd love to hear it. And sit down and shut up. I told you about this guy, Bogornik. He's an operator, a big timer. He makes more quick import deals than anybody on the East Coast. And you know why? Because he deals in cash. No papers, no books, no nothing. I figure he must keep 100, 200 grand in that apartment of his. So what are you going to do? Swipe it? No, it won't be that easy. Bogornik's no dope. I figure I'm making one big haul and I'm taking my time about it. And we'll have enough dough to skip the country. Live it up big someplace. South America, Rio. Rio? Yeah, any place you like. Ah, oh, but when's it gonna be? When's it going to happen? I don't know, I can't be sure. It might be six months from now. Might even be this week. There's been a rumor around the office about some foreign typewriters. Typewriters? Yeah. Stolen goods. I don't know how true it is, but I heard her old friend Miklos is in on a deal. And if it clicks, price could be big. How big? I don't know. I'll have to see. And you really think you could get the money? Oh, I ain't been thinking of anything else. For months. You sent for me, Mr. Begonic? Yes. You and me, we got a date tonight. Your apartment? That's right. Big stuff tonight, Larry. Wear your best suit and keep your eyes open. Yes, sir. Will Miklos be there? Yeah, that's right. Our good friend Miklos and his cousin. I don't know what time they're coming. Pretty late, maybe. You come to my place 10, 10.30. I'll be there, Mr. Begonic. Well? There's been a rumor going around about some typewriters. Is that the deal, Mr. Begonic? I don't like rumors. Sometimes they're true. Now get out of here. Bergonic, please. Uh, just a minute, please. Bergonic. <coughs> Stefan. <coughs> Who is this? Miklos? Yes. Chest is very bad today. I think maybe I cannot leave the house tonight. <coughs> That's too bad. We will make it some other night then, Miklos, when you feel better. Uh, no, no. Uh, business is business. Perhaps if someone could bring the money over to my house tonight, about eight. Someone? <laughs> yes, uh, your cousin. Uh, Larry, uh, he's trustworthy, no? Yes. But we haven't yet agreed on the price. Is the 30,000 agreeable to your partners? Yes, yes. It's agreeable. All right, then. I'll send Larry with the money. Hello, Mr. Bogornik. I got your message to come here early. Yes, our plans for the evening have changed. Come in, Larry. My good friend Miklos called me this afternoon. He can't make the meeting tonight, but he wants to complete the transaction. So I'm sending you over to his house with the money. Could I have his address, sir? It's on the envelope.
Could I go now, Mr. Bogornik? In a minute. Sit down. I've been thinking about Eva, your mother. My mother? Yeah. To you, she was just a, a nice old lady that cooked your meals and sent you to school and junk like that, right? My mother died before I was 12, Mr. Bogonik. Yeah, sure, I remember. Only maybe you didn't know something about your mother. Her and me, we were engaged to be married once, back in the old country. A family thing, an arrangement, you know? Only then she met your pop. And that made things different. You ever know about that, Larry? No, sir. I could have been your father. Well, I wouldn't have minded that, Mr. Pogornik. Uh, you were better off the way you were. Don't get any wrong ideas. Your pop was the best guy on earth. Stupid, but the best. Sure, Mr. Pogornik. Don't you ever forget it. I beat it. Who is it? I'm in, Angie. I was doing my hair. I look a mess. You shouldn't walk in on a girl like that. Sit down. Say what's with you. Sit down. You always thought I was a nothing, huh? That's what you thought, didn't you? This little Larry from around the corner running errands for the big boys. <laughs> Taking bets. <laughs> What's the matter? You drunk or something? Huh? How much? How much is it? Thirty thousand bucks. Thirty thousand dollars? <laughs> I've never seen so much money in my life. 30,000 bucks. Oh, count it, Angie. Count it. Oh, I never thought you could do it. I never thought you had it in you. Oh, you sweet babies. You beautiful things. You, Mama's gonna take good care of you. I want a hundred pairs of shoes, Larry. I'm crazy about shoes. Good shoes. $30,000. Oh, think what we can do with it. I'll pack tonight. Oh, it won't take me long. I'm not going to take much. We can buy new clothes when we get there. Summer clothes, right? It's always summer in Rio, ain't it? Oh, give it back, Andy. <laughs> All of it. Oh, come on, honey. Let me keep just a little. A little for pocket money? I said all of it. Well, I can pack in 15 minutes. There won't be any packing. You wait right here until I call you. <laughs> Understand? Where are you going? You ain't leaving me, are you? Oh, no. You couldn't walk out on me just like that. Let go of me, Angie. I know what I'm doing. Larry, please. Hey, you are coming back. You are coming back! Hello, cousin. Cousin, a layoff, huh? Where is the money? What have you done with the money? I'm sorry for all the trouble I caused you. Here it is, Mister. Go on, it's all there. It's thirty thousand bucks. You see, he was the one who called you, not I, Stefan. The boy is a thief. He's right. I'm a no good crook. I was the one who called you, told you the meeting was off. I thought it was going to be easy. I was all set to have a boat to South America. Then why didn't you? 
Why did you come back? Because I forgot something. I thought I was being real smart getting all that dough. But I forgot about my old man. I tried to rob you, Mr. Pagornik, so you can do whatever you want to me. But I began thinking about what you said about my father. I began to remember things about him. He was a pretty dumb guy, all right, just like you said. But I loved him. I couldn't do this to him. That's why I come back. Larry! Come back here. I never thought you would. I never thought I'd see you again. I told you, didn't I? Where you been? I've been to Bogornik's place. Bogornik? Mm-hmm. They gave him back the money. You gave him back the money? Every nickel. Why, Larry? Why? <laughs> What's so funny? What's so funny? <laughs> Don't you get it? Don't you get it, you dope? <laughs> 30 grand's okay, but it's no fortune. I get something better than that. Much better. Something that'll pay off in 100 grand someday soon. I got his trust. <laughs> 